breaking news and weather authority. Here's your first alert forecast. The Storm Prediction Center does have the southern half of our region included in that level one marginal risk for strong to severe storms on Friday. Main concerns going to be heavy downpours. Could also see a few of those storms develop enough to produce some gusty, potentially damaging winds. Now we have seen a few isolated, short lived storms moving along the east throughout the course of our late afternoon and evening, but those are expected to continue to weaken and really fizzle out here as we head past sunset. Overnight, we'll stay dry. Dry, quiet temperatures really just dropping through the 70s. Not a bad start to our Friday morning and lots of dry time throughout the course of the daytime hours of Friday. It's really going to be the late afternoon and evening where we're watching the main storm development. Here is around 3 p.m. Couple of isolated storms trying to pop up northwest, but we're really going to be focused on our eastern and southern counties for these storms on Friday night. That is where we'll see the most impacts, unfortunately, on this Friday night when we do have lots of festivals going on across the region. So unfortunately, going to have to keep watch. Here's around 4 to 5 p.m. This is when we're really starting to see a little bit more coverage coming out of these, and that will continue to spread as we get closer to 6 and 7. See how these are getting pushed a little bit more inland at that point. Jacksonville, Beaufort, New Bern, all dealing with storms throughout the course of the evening. Then we get past sunset. You can see we're still watching a few of these along our southern counties, while north, very limited. In fact, many of our northern counties could get through the entirety of Friday without any rain while we're dealing with hefty downpours south. So very notable difference north to south. Right now, fairly quiet across most of the region. Live view from our Greenville Tower Cam. Still toasty warm in the heart of Pitt County. 95 degrees at this hour. A little bit of a breeze, about 9 miles an hour. Washington also still toasty warm, but holding on to some sunshine as we do head into the late afternoon and evening. And and of course, really nice to see a little bit of quiet time here before we are dealing with those storms. We will have a first alert weather day on Friday because we will be tracking those storms. But again, northern counties not going to impact you as much. Now, this is all going to be pushed along by a cold front. Once that cold front is through, we're done with the 90s and the humidity falls way off. So Saturday and Sunday are going to feel great. Really couldn't ask for a better forecast for the first weekend of June. So try to make some plans, get outside enjoy it. We will be mostly sunny on Saturday. Could see a little bit more cloud cover getting thrown our way on Sunday, but still should shape up to be a beautiful day. And then next week we're going to see those 90s fighting their way back in warmer and warmer day by day. Another chance for storms comes on Wednesday. Those do look to be scattered. Every time those temperatures start to change, there's another storm rolling. Mm -hmm. Always watching something else, especially this time of the year. And definitely keep an eye out for it because a lot of people traveling on Fridays. Yeah. Yes, and so we'll be watching it very closely. If you are going to be hitting the roads, I would say the earlier the better because we'll be dealing with those storms developing all through the evening. All right, thanks, Star. The Greenville Museum.